from Urbandale, Iowa. Throw it up on the tee. Gannon Burr. First time I remember really getting into disc golf was I went to a sporting goods store to buy an ultimate frisbee and I bought a disc golf disc by accident and my neighbor had a disc golf basket. And so I ended up trading my junior set of golf clubs for the disc golf basket for my neighbor. And uh, yeah, I got my first disc, went out with my dad to go throw a couple shots and he ended up throwing it straight into the top of a tree and we never saw the disc again. I really got hooked on the flat of the disc. I've always kind of enjoyed these unique sports and unique things. Uh, I know I always got into Rubik's Cubes, paper airplanes, Lego. So, you know, I was always involved in sports, baseball, basketball growing up. I didn't love the team aspect of it because you could have a good game, but your team might not, and then you end up losing. And so there was always, it felt like someone to blame for a lost game. And in disc golf, it was something I could do anywhere, any time of the day, good or bad weather if I wanted to. And yeah, I had a nice open field in my backyard. I could play for eight, nine, 10 hours a day. And uh, yeah, that's basically what's brought me to where I am today. I remember shortly after finding disc golf and playing for a couple months that I watched some videos on YouTube and I found out there were tournaments. That really intrigued me because I wanted to see how I could match up against other people my skill level. And so I started off in the recreational division and I think it was my first rec tournament I ever played. I ended up winning. You know, ever since then, I kind of got that feel of how it felt to win. And it was all myself. I didn't have anyone on my team that was helping me out or hurting me. And so it really showed that, you know, the work I'd been putting in actually paid off. And after I won my first professional event at 14, it kind of got me thinking, am I able to maybe play good on tour? And so the next couple of years, I believe 2021, I ended up playing in my second pro tour event, which was the Waco Annual Charity Open. And I ended up beating Paul Macbeth in a round, which was really surprising for me. And I kind of talked to my parents. I was like, I was like, mom, dad, I just beat Paul Macbeth in a round of disc golf and I'm on the lead card and I'm 15 years old. So I think that moment kind of showed me that, you know, maybe I'm not consistently there yet, but it shows that my ceiling is high enough to where I can do it. And if I do get that consistency developed, then I'll be right there with them. And so throughout the year, I played pretty solid, got a couple top fives that helped me a lot and end up winning rookie of the year for 2021. Felt pretty solid about my season going into 2022 and I, uh, you know, got right started right in Vegas, end up losing in a sudden death playoff. And that was really the moment that I was like, dang, I can for sure win. That was, you know, I always had this doubt in the back of my mind saying that, you know, maybe I'm not good enough, but, you know, playing four rounds in a disc golf pro tour event against the top players in the world at 16 and then pushing a playoff, almost winning the tournament really showed me that, you know, it wasn't actually a fluke when I did make the lead cards, I had a hot round. And so throughout that year, I got better and better and better. And I got my first Disc Golf Pro Tour win at the Santa Cruz Masters Cup. And that was a big weight lifted off my shoulders as I felt accomplished, like all my work paid off. And, you know, I've spent so much time in this game and this is really what I wanted. I told myself ever since I was a kid that, you know, if I really wanted it bad enough, nothing is stopping me from becoming a top pro in this game. And, uh, you know, as the, as the year went on, had a couple more great finishes leading up until USDGC, which was, you know, a tournament I've been watching since I was a kid. And ended up playing four solid rounds and made a ton of clutch shots toward the end of the fourth round to win my first major championship at the USDGC at 17 years old. And I was the youngest player to ever win that event. And I think that kind of solidified in my brain that, you know, I can win out here any, any weekend against any players in the field. So funny story, in 2016, there was actually a Disc Mania Combine in my hometown. And so just like anyone in disc golf dreams of, they want to be sponsored, and especially by a company I'd already had in my bag. It's actually pretty hilarious. We have the notes of what they thought of me whenever I tried out for the Disc Mania Combine. So I'm gonna read those off for you guys today. Here we go. It's my first time seeing these. First question, how do you see yourself as a player, my strengths and my weaknesses? Putting is one of my strengths, and it's been solid for me at tournaments, and my weakness is driving and upshots. How did I perform at the event this year? Felt like I did very well. The shorter upshots made two long putts, played very well during the round. I feel like I remember walking off of that round and being like, wow, I left a couple out there, but I guess I might have lied to it to make it seem like I was better. Well, here's another question. Do you have the possibility to tour? And I said, yes. My hope is to live my life this way. 
Uh, why should we select you? Uh, I said I'd bring some youth to the team and grow the sport. My favorite Discmania disc was a DDX. I, I can firmly say that definitely was my favorite disc. It was perfect for my arm speed. It was one of the first drivers I ever kind of felt like I threw far because it, it fit my arm speed so well. Uh, and what would it mean for me to be on Team Discmania? <laughs> this is a really funny answer. I remember vividly saying, yeah, man, it would mean the world to me. Uh, Cause I really, I really just wanted to get some free discs and being on the team and representing it would be huge for me. And in a way, it, it obviously is. Getting that kind of first time sponsor, especially from a disc manufacturer, was really important for me. Uh, I think that's probably the best way for anyone to, to grow their brand and just improve as a, as a player if you wanna you know, try to go somewhere in the sport. And uh, here is Austin Montgomery's thoughts. Super young, seemed a little nervous, but that's understandable. Uh, it seems like he wanted to be a pro disc golfer when he grows up. Obviously a good choice just based on age. After the Discmania Combine, a few days later, they'd reach back out to me and let me know that I did not make the team. And this really lit a fire in me to really want to go and earn it. And what I would tell 11-year-old Gannon Burr is stay the course, keep working hard, and I'm gonna end up where I belong. And that's where I'm at today. All the hard work paid off, and I couldn't be more excited for my future with Discmania. <laughs>